how is your uh, relationship with Greeny these days? Because obviously there was a lot of stuff written when Mike and Mike ended, and you know people were saying, oh, they weren't talking. Um, I, you know, I never know what's truth and what's what's fiction. But how, how like, where do you guys stand now? Well, you know what? Yeah, it did not end well. That's pretty much been public. I, I was was surprised it ended um, for the guy that was running ESPN at, at that time who ended it, John Skipper, and Greeny wanted to go do his own thing. Uh, so I was surprised it ended, and obviously it's been pretty documented. I didn't like the way it, it ended uh, and, and how it went about. I would say Greeny and I, and we've seen each other since, but, you know, he does the morning show with Get Up, and I do, you know, was doing the morning show, so we would have really no interaction in the morning. We always lived far away from one another, and outside of even Mike and Mike, we never really hung out. His kids were, weren't even born when we started the show, so we never really had a lot in common. And I think that's one of the things that helped make Mike and Mike work a little bit was we, we, were, we were so different. So quite honestly, the way it ended, I, when we see each other, we've seen each other at Super Bowls, we're cordial, uh, but that, that's pretty much it. They're, they're, in all honesty, there really isn't much of a relationship anymore. It's a shame, but you know that's, that's just the way it goes yeah. sometimes, and that's just where it is now. Who knows what the future holds, but Right now, that's pretty much well, where it is. I respect your uh, approach to all this because, you know, this time around as well, you said that you were kind of blindsided and you found out yeah. on Twitter, right, like that the show was ending. What is there a part of you that holds a little bit of resentment where you're like, you know, I put in years and years and years at this company and – Greeny kind of that ended not well, and Greeny went went and got his big set in right. New York City, and then this this iteration you find out on Twitter. Is there a part of you that has resentment, or are you like, listen, I'm I'm blessed. I have bigger things. My life is pretty damn good. Well, I mean, listen, you you can I can be very focused on that, or or you can have a lot of emotions, and I mean, I'm human, so you do it for this long, and 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 I guess it's wrong to expect. Ex- expect is the wrong word. Uh, there were. There were thoughts. I, there had been talks that they weren't sure what they were going to do with the morning show. And, and I've, I've always been for the 20 years there and actually my whole life, I've been a say it to my face guy. Let me know behind closed doors, whatever. I'm not a locker room talker. Tell me what's going on. And the thought was, well, we're not sure what we're going to do. And I'm like, well, if you're sure I'm not going to be back and you're looking somewhere, just tell me. And they said, well, you know, we're, we're, we're not sure what we're going to do right now. And it was basically one of the media guys writing an article that basically had said, you know, it's it's going to be a different show. And I was just like, my God, I mean, just let me know. I, yeah. I've had some of the toughest coaches in the world tell me I suck on film. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Right. You know what? I may not like what you hear, I, what I hear, but I mean, just tell me. So, yes, I did not. That did not go well. The And in all honesty, the people that were involved in that decision, when I finally did talk to them, I let him know how I felt. And I've always been a guy that was going to do that. And I didn't talk about that to the media or anything. I said, I'll handle it the way I want to handle it. But then as far as am I bitter, I'm, I'm a little bummed it ended that way. But then, but then real, the reality of it is I was cut twice in the NFL. I was cut by the Houston Oilers. And then I was cut my last team, the Miami Dolphins. And I didn't agree with me being cut both times. And I told the coach that, but you know what? It didn't matter. <laughs> right. They didn't care what I had to say. That's what they wanted to do. So that's the way I look at it. While I wish it would have ended differently, we know it all ends at some point. So it ended this way. I wasn't overly happy about it, but I couldn't control that. So I looked at it that way. You know, the ESPN, you know, uh, brass decided that they wanted to cut me from the morning show. I didn't agree with it. I told them I didn't agree with it. I told them I think it's the wrong move. But it doesn't matter what I think. It didn't matter that I said that. They were like the coach, and they said it's going to be over. So, you know, you, you can't sit there and, and, you know, kick rocks and keep your head down. It's like, all right, well, you know, I know I'm not done in this business. I'm going to keep going, and I'm under contract with ESPN until the end of the year. So I actually, you know, it, it's weird. You know, a lot of people are like, man, just sit there and take their money. And, and you know, it, that's the way it works. It's just reality. I get paid until the end of the year, whether I sit on my ass or what. But I didn't want to do that. I'm like, I want to do something, you know, I just don't want to sit there. So I actually went to them and I said, let me call college games again. That's what I first did when I got out of the NFL is I called college games before I even started doing studio shows or radio. So, and they were like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll you can, you do that. Now we don't even know, obviously right. we're going through the whole college football thing. So we'll see how that plays out. And then at the end of the year, 
we'll see where, where it goes. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't plan on retiring. That's for sure. I respect it yeah. though. I mean, that's it's a classy thing, and I think it's um, it's it's kind of rare today because there's you know, to, like we go back to the internet. The internet is full of drama, and uh, I I respect the hell out of doing it like you're doing it and face to face and and not spilling tea everywhere and telling everyone you know this is how I feel and not hiding that. You know, and it's not. It's the way I was brought up, quite honestly. I'm just kind of doing what my parents kind of taught me. And in all honesty, it just I just do it because that's the way I learned to do it. And I hope my kids do it that way as well. And I've already seen cases where they do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where, again, listen, we're, we're all grownups here. I mean, we, we can take criticism. That, that's one of the things sometimes is like that they don't people don't think you can take criticism. Just let's be up front, man. You know, we, we don't always have to agree on everything, but let's just know where you stand. I've always said that about a coach. Just tell me where I stand. Yeah. I may not like where you think I stand, but at least then I know where I stand and I know what I have to work on if I'm going to continue to be on your team, whatever team that is in sports or in life. So it's the way I was raised and it's the way I, I try and raise my kids as well. Yeah, and w with the relationship that you had with Greeny, it was 17, 18 years, I believe, on, yeah. on the air together. Um you know, that that's a long time. That's a relationship. That's longer than most oh, yeah. marriages last at that point. So I was wondering if you had any advice for us, because we have a similar dynamic going on where I'm an athlete. I work with a big J journalist. <laughs> and so sometimes, you know, we butt heads <laughs> over that, over who's the nerd, who's the jock. Do you have any advice for us about how to keep our relationship fresh over 17, 18 years? Well, you, you know what we would, for Green and I, what we always did, and it's so weird because you do talk about it like a couple. It's like, it's like me and my wife, we never, we never go to bed angry. If something happens during that day, you, you square it out before your head hits the pillow. And for Greeny and I, you know, we, we certainly obviously talked as the show was getting going and, you know, he was open to bringing his family in it. We knew we didn't want to be kind of a blue type of a morning show. Um, we, we weren't going to do that. Disney probably wouldn't have really like that anyway, <laughs> but, uh, we didn't want to go down that road. Um, so basically, you know, for Greeny and I, it was just don't take things personal with one another, you know, for, for the run that we had, the ending's a different thing. That was the end of the show. But as far as what you're talking about is as far as partners in the show, we, we disagreed plenty, you know, on air and on the show but we never took it personal with each other. So it's not like ever after a show where we disagreed on something that we went, we went home that day mad at one another. We, under, we realized it was a show, it was our opinions, and we, we respected each other's opinions because we did come at it from two different sides, the side of an athlete and the side of a journalist. So there was some disagreement in the way we looked at things, but I think that really helped the show. But that's what I would say to, to anybody you know, starting out. Uh, in this or, or, or going on like you guys are going is just just make sure that you know where your line is between everybody so you don't cross anything personal on air that nobody wants like if if you don't want you know your kid involved on air the other person don't talk about your kid on air you know you have mm -hmm. have those kind of things set and just understand there's going to be differences and and like any good couple, man, when you and your head hits a pillow at night, don't don't go to bed angry. Yeah, usually PFT scratches my back at night. Mm, uh, I tickle so it. See, there you go. I tickle yeah. it. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs>